have you ever been the only player on a server before? If so, you'll understand the eeriness that comes with playing an online game all by yourself. And that is exactly what the game, No Players Online, conveys. Set on the dead surfers of an old first person shooter, No Players Online brings Capture the Flag back with a supernatural twist. Upon booting up the game, you'll hear the sound of a VHS tape being inserted into a VCR before being greeted with a multitude of servers to select from. Upon selecting an available server, you are instantly dropped into the game with nothing but the atmospheric sounds of the sky, your gun, and your own footsteps. As you explore the map, you'll soon find out that you are playing this game all by yourself. Upon capturing the opposite flag and heading back, you will begin to hear eerie music in the distance. If you follow this opposite path, you'll find the source of the music to be an old record player. At this point, you have the option to stop it by shooting it, or leave it be. After you start strolling back to your base to return the flag, you'll catch a glimpse of the shadowy figure floating across the chasm. If you go and investigate the area, you'll find nothing but a few objects that look like tombstones. But this is where the game takes a dark turn. Upon returning the flag to your base and going back to collect it a second time, you'll be greeted with a message at the bottom of the screen stating a new player has joined the server. Of course, seeing this message in a game that is supposedly 30 years old is haunting enough to send chills down your spine. As you carefully walk back to the other side, you'll catch more glimpses of this figure. But the moment you set the flag down the second time, your body freezes, and if you turn around, you'll witness the shadow gliding towards you before disappearing into thin air. If you decide to keep on playing after this point and collect the last flag, you'll have one more encounter with the shadow. This time, a message will read look behind you before paralyzing you in your spot as you're forced to watch as this horrifying entity approaches you before disappearing once again. At this point, the developer, John, joins as a spectator and warns you about the danger of returning that final flag. He goes on to explain how the game has the power to raise the dead, and the shadowy figure you encountered is actually his dead wife, whom he wants to resurrect. Additionally, if you shot the record player earlier, you will state how you destroyed her favorite music. However, John also warns that if you return the flag to its pedestal, the servers will be shut down and his wife's soul will be lost forever. You are now faced with a difficult choice. You may leave the server at his request, or return the flag back to the post and face the consequences. If you decide to return it, John will beg for you to stop what you're doing and turn around. But if you don't, the game will glitch out and return you back to the server menu, where you'll find nothing left of the game. But if you leave the server without putting the flag back, you have a few more options. You can quit the game altogether, or pop back into another server where you can play another round. Upon starting up a new server and experiencing the final encounter with the spirit, John will ask you why you've returned 
before a message pops up that John underscore dev has joined the game. Upon exploring, you'll find no sight of John or any other player. But if you return to the gravesite where you first saw his wife, you'll find a floating object above a tombstone, an eye to be exact, almost like it's watching you. And if you shoot this eye, a surprise video pops up, showing someone drawing an ambiguous message or map on a piece of paper. Unfortunately, after this point, you are kicked out of the game, and there is nothing more you can do. However, there are a few interesting things I've found in the game and read online. If you pay attention to the pillars, trees, and tombstone-like objects, you will notice that they tend to appear and disappear. I don't know exactly what this means, but this next information might explain it. A few days ago, a file named 100% save file was uploaded to the download page. If you open this file, you will only find a bunch of code, but luckily for us, users on the internet have done some investigating and found an image. Here, you are seeing what looks to be a lamppost, but if you look at the bottom left, you can vaguely see some numbers. And if you change the contrast, you'll find it reads out as the 15th of November, 2019. It's possible that all questions pertaining to this game could be answered in two days on the 15th. What do you think is going to happen in a few days? Will the developer release additional content for the game? Or will it release a virus? that infects everyone who has downloaded the program. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, if you enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, thank you and good night.